decisions. We make decisions all the time, from the moment we wake up in the morning until we go to bed at night. In the morning, we have to decide what to eat for breakfast. Lontong, nasi lemak, roti canai. Now, suppose you ordered roti canai, and when the roti canai arrived, you found that it wasn't as good as you thought it would be. So you felt that you made a mistake in ordering roti canai. You should have ordered something else instead. But the consequence of making this wrong decision is just the cost of the roti canai, which isn't much. So for most of us, when we are making our everyday decisions like what to order for breakfast, what time we want to leave for class, if we make the wrong decision, the consequence is minor. Business also have to make decisions where to open their shop, what products to sell, how much they should spend on advertising. But the decisions that business make involve a lot of money. If the owner of a business makes the wrong decision, he can lose a lot of money. In fact, if the decision is very bad, the owner might even have to close the business. So how do we make a correct decision? We do it by using the quantitative approach. It may be that after using the quantitative approach, the decision turned out to be wrong. So it's not guaranteed that using the quantitative approach, the decision is always correct. But on the long run, using the quantitative approach will give a higher chance of getting a correct decision compared to not using the quantitative approach. The steps of the quantitative analysis approach is using the model. The model corresponds to what a person believes in and this is reflected in the behavior of the person. Now, a student behaves differently in class than when he is out of the class. Uh, so in class maybe he is a bit quiet, but outside the class he is, maybe he talks more. So his behavior depends on the environment. So, in other words, the environment affects the model that we use it. So, in decision making, it's important to know what is the environment. So, in decision making, there are three environments. There are decision making under certainty, under uncertainty, and under risk. Decision making under certainty is when the person knows the outcome of each decision with certainty. For example, suppose a person wants to invest 10,000 ringgit for one year. He has two choices, either in Amanah Saham Bumutra or ASB or a fixed deposit account that pays interest of 4%. Now, if he invests in ASB, the amount he gets after one year is 8% uh, of 10,000 ringgit, which is 800 ringgit, because the dividend rate of ASP, even though it changes from year to year, but roughly on the whole, it's 8%. Okay. Now, on the other hand, if he invests 10,000 ringgit in the fixed deposit account, after one year, he will get 4% of 10,000 ringgit, which is 400 ringgit. So he will know for certain that he will get 800 ringgit from ASP and 400 ringgit from the fixed deposit. So, of course, he should invest in ESB. So this is one example of decision making under certainty. Decision making under uncertainty is when a person has to make a decision and the decision has several outcomes but the person has no idea what the chances of the outcome will be. For example, suppose a person wants to organize a golf tournament in 30 days time, around one month's time. Okay. Now, a golf tournament is strongly influenced by the weather, whether it is a sunny day or a rainy day. Because if it is a rainy day, the person might have to cancel the golf tournament. Now, what are the chances of it being a sunny day or rainy day in 30 days time? Well, I think no one knows that. Eh? Uh, but the person still has to organize the golf tournament. That is decision making under uncertainty. 
decision making under risk is when each decision has several outcomes and the person knows the chances or the probabilities of each outcome. Suppose a person wants to do the laundry tonight. The next day he will hang out the laundry. Yeah? Okay. So he wants to know what will be the weather like tomorrow, whether it will be a sunny day or a rainy day. So one way to know is by looking at the weather forecast. So if the weather forecast says that tomorrow will be a sunny day, then there is a high probability, probability that tomorrow will be a sunny day. So he can do the laundry tonight. On the other hand, if let's say the weather forecast says tomorrow it will rain, then most probably it will not be a sunny day tomorrow. So the person should not do the laundry tonight. That is decision making under risk. Let's discuss one example where we want to compare decision making under risk and under uncertainty. So the example I want to discuss is about the game of Russian roulette. So in this game, a person puts a bullet, bullet inside the gun, uh, spins the chambers around, and then shoots himself in the head. So if the person is lucky, he will not shoot himself. On the other hand, if the person is unlucky, he will shoot himself and he will die. Eh? Okay, so let's say the, consider the first case. He puts one bullet inside the chambers. Now, altogether, there are six chambers. That means one bullet and the other five chambers are empty. Now, what is the probability that he will shoot himself? The answer is one over six because there are one bullet and then six chambers. Uh, this is decision making under this because he knows the probability. Okay. Now let's see, consider the second case. Uh, this person receives the gun from someone else. Now he does not know how many bullets are there. There might be no bullets at all. It can be one bullet, two bullet, or maybe all the chambers are full. And not only that, uh, it might be a fake gun. That means the gun it cannot be fired or it might be that the gun is real but the bullets are blanks I mean if he fires the bullets the, the gun he will not kill himself so if he wants to make the probability of him being killed in this case he cannot make any probability because he has no idea what uh, what is the actual situation uh, so this is decision making under uncertainty. It is important to differentiate between decision making under risk and under uncertainty. In 2007, the United States suffered one of its worst financial crises due to the subprime mortgage loan. So one of the reasons the crisis occurred was because the bankers they confused between decision making under risk and under uncertainty. The bankers use mathematical models, uh, which they assume was decision making under risk. But actually, the models that they use were wrong because they made many incorrect assumptions. So actually, they were making decisions making decision making under uncertainty. So because of this confusion, the bankers lost a lot of money, and that was one of the reasons why the financial crisis occurred. Okay.